Welcome everyone to St Michael's Church for this Trinity Sunday. Lovely to have you here with us today. Bittersweet for me as I look around at all the empty pews and uh, think of you all. I'm missing you as I'm sure we're all missing each other when we gather virtually for, for this service. So uh, if you have some bread and some wine handy and want to share with me at the appropriate point in this communion service, you're very, very welcome to do so. Let's just begin our service by recollecting that God loves us, that he cares about us, that he's near to us, that our isolation, our difficult circumstances, they are no barrier to his presence, to his spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's prepare to confess our sins by taking a moment in quiet to call to mind anything we need to put right with God today. Father, we confess that we have sinned against you in what we have thought and said and done. We have not loved you with all our heart. We have not loved our neighbour as ourselves. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, we turn to you with repentant hearts. We bring our sins and shortcomings to you. We put them at the foot of the cross. Christ, have mercy. Holy Spirit, return to us and fill us afresh that we may leave the brokenness of the past behind and walk with you in newness of life. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Collect for Trinity Sunday. Holy God, faithful and unchanging, enlarge our minds with the knowledge of your truth and draw us more deeply into the mystery of your love, that we may truly worship you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 28, beginning at verse 16. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Well, I guess there are all too many Christians who feel that Trinity Sunday is a dry exercise in trying to make comprehensible what is incomprehensible. I'd like to propose in our reflection today that the doctrine of the Holy Trinity is actually about life and about love. And that's why it's so relevant and important for us uh, to get that 
to understand it and, and to live it. I think the history of the doctrine of the Trinity really goes back to reflections on the life of Jesus, the things that he said, for example, to baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Things like when he said he is the life, the bread of life, the way, the truth, and the life, the resurrection of the life. Well, there's a passage in Deuteronomy that says the Lord God is your life. Or when he said, I'm the light of the world. And again, the Psalms say that the Lord is your light. Or when he says he's the good shepherd, and um, the Psalms again say, the Lord is my shepherd. They began to wonder, how can there be two shepherds, two lights, two lights, which is which, which one is it? And they saw that Jesus was both, uh, sorry, Jesus and the Father must both be part of the one God. And that's why it says here in today's passage that they worshipped him. They did what, uh, as disciples from the Jewish Bible, they knew belonged to God only to worship him. And then they saw that the Holy Spirit had come. And Jesus said, I'm going to send you another person, a counsellor, a friend, like me. And he'll be with you forever. He said, he, he didn't say it. He said, this is another person just like me. God coming to live inside you. What, have we got three gods? No, we know there's only one God. But the heart of the faith they'd always grown up with. But we meet with God in three ways. And it's those three ways I'd like to commend to you today. Under these circumstances in which we need to know that God loves us, that he's with us, that he champions our cause and acts on our behalf. So on Trinity Sunday, remember we have a Father who loves us and calls us to be his children. We have the Son, Jesus, who loves us so much that he laid down his life for us. He puts the Father's love into action in human history for us. And we have the Spirit who pours that love into our hearts. So it's not just some far off thing but a living experience that God wants us to have now. Uh, part of our very way of life, as God himself, comes to live inside us in the Spirit. I hope that will give strength, encouragement, and support for us as we face difficult and sometimes anxious and lonely days. But let's remember also that these three are one, that we're talking about a God who is so much deeper than our ability to comprehend, that uh, the unity of his love means we don't have three gods, but one, but made known to us in a Father's love, in the salvation of Jesus, and in the life of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Shall we then turn to our creed? This is the one with the response, we believe and trust in him. And do join me in the responses if you can. On this Trinity Sunday, do you believe and trust in God the Father, creator of all? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in his Son, Jesus Christ, who redeemed mankind? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God? We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the Church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. So dear Heavenly Father, in our dark days 
when other people, and sometimes you yourself, seem far away. Help us to remember that God is love. And you share this love with us by inviting us into your family as our Father, by laying down your life for us as our Saviour, and by pouring your goodness into our heart through the Holy Spirit. Let this be life and health and strength to us in the coming days. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear Father, we remember your love for all people throughout the world. We think of protests going on because sadly, in our present day, some people's lives seem to be held by other people as less than valuable. Please, dear Lord, let there be justice. Let there be equality. We ask this in the name of the One who loves and prizes each one of us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for our missionaries throughout the world. Thank you for the amazing job that they're doing in trying to help street children bring water and food to areas where there's great poverty in the world, and champion the cause of persecuted Christians. Dear Lord, please be with them in their struggles, as their financial support has gone down, we pray please provide for them, and please help them to be able to continue to minister your love amid the great difficulties brought on by the pandemic. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, dear Father, we give thanks for all people who are giving of themselves so generously in our difficulties, in the health service, in the shops, in every kind of public service, Thank you for their dedication. Thank you for their courage. We commend them to you, dear Lord, in our prayers. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord is here, his spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Almighty God, it is our duty and our joy at all times, including in isolation, and in all places, including in our homes, to give you thanks and praise. On this Trinity Sunday, we praise you for the Father who loves us and created us, for the Son who loves us and gave himself up for us, and for the Holy Spirit who pours the love of God into our hearts, yet our one God for ever and ever. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. On the night that he was betrayed, Jesus took bread, 
and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Then he took the cup, gave you thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, shed for you, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Therefore we do this in remembrance of Jesus who shared our humanity in the manger, bore our sins on the cross, rose for us in the garden, and now reigns with you in heaven. Send your Holy Spirit upon us as we eat this bread and drink this wine, that they may be to us Jesus' body and his blood. Deepen our love for you and for one another, that we may serve you in the world I may worship you, Father Almighty God, in songs of everlasting praise. Glory, glory, glory to the Lord. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Almighty and eternal God, you have revealed yourself as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and live and reign in the perfect unity of love. Help us hold firm in this faith, that we may know you in all your ways, and ever more rejoice in your eternal glory, who are three persons, yet one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. And now one or two notices before our blessing. Just come a bit closer. Well, thank you again for joining us for our virtual church today and I uh, hope that service has been of some comfort and strength to all of us who are watching. A particular welcome if you're viewing us for the first time right here at St Michael's during the, the recent episodes. Um, many people, of course, would normally give on a Sunday as we pass a collection plate round. But if you would like to continue doing that in some way, there is a donate button which is available to give online. You just need to have your credit card handy. And um, that will enable you to use that and, and, and make that part of your Sunday worship as well. We'll be putting out a couple of hymns, you'll be able to find them as comments if you're following on Facebook or, or, or further little uh, things uh, with the service on, on if you're using WhatsApp and we'll be going of course on Trinity Sunday with Holy Holy Holy, a tremendous classic hymn for Trinity and also God is Love. So watch out for those if you're not used to going through the small print at the bottom of the, the box. Do click on those uh, and make that 
part of our worship as well. So next week's Sunday service will come from St Andrews. And now may the love of God the Father be poured into your hearts by the Holy Spirit to the glory of Jesus the Son. And the blessing of the one almighty God be among you and remain with you and with all whom you love on this Trinity Sunday and forevermore. Amen.